Hello and welcome to Multiply, a podcast to encourage church planters and Christian leaders. I am Danielle Snowden. Today we will discuss how any who work for God, serving Him and others, have and will face strong opposition. I believe many of us could possibly write a book on this one subject alone. As pastors, I can assure you that my family and I have had many oppositions when we obey God and did what he led us to do. Let us read. But though we had already suffered and been shamefully treated at Philippi, as you know, we had boldness in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in the midst of much conflict. 1 Thessalonians 2.2 2. The commentator Barnes said, They were not detoured from preaching the gospel by the treatment which they had received, but at the very next important town, and on the first opportunity, they proclaimed the same truth, though there was no security that they might not meet with the same persecution there. They were not influenced by the hope of ease or of selfish gains. The setting of the story starts in Acts 16, 18, when God empowered Paul as he rebuked an evil spirit out of a woman, and she was delivered, set free, and made whole. Yet the crowd came against Paul and Silas for this good act. A mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas, and the city officials ordered them stripped and beaten with wooden rods. They were severely beaten, and when they were thrown into prison, the jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape. Acts 16, 22-23 Opposition means something or someone that opposes you, and in this case, God. And to oppose means to resist. The people were basically resisting God in all his attributes that they were displayed through his servants, Paul and Silas. In their opposition, they attack these two missionary men emotionally and physically. As I have tried to teach by example, recall the podcast, You Became a Model, I stress to those I discipled that it is how we react when we are treated badly. This is pertinent. When people oppose God through our life and ministry, to be honest, it hurts. I've cried many tears as the Spirit of God was grieved and our service to individuals was met with a great opposition. May I encourage you that for our struggle, it's not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this world's darkness and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms, Ephesians 6, 12. We win as we continue doing all God has called us to do. Thank you so much for being with us today. Please share this podcast with others. Also, we are on Facebook at Encouragement for Village Church Planters and on YouTube, VCP Encouragement. OMS. Please click subscribe and follow. Thank you and God bless.